other plans I got if if there's ever a con around here in friggin' Podunk, Wisconsin, I'll definitely go to it. I think the closest one is in Chicago, but I think it's long over with the um, Wizard mm-hmm. World or something. I'd love yeah. to. I'd love to go to a con. I just need to know when and where they are because I think right. I say that almost every week whenever a guest mentions a con is like, man, if I knew where one was, I would definitely be there like that. It's like. I don't care how much it costs, screw it. I am going to a con. I am promoting this. I'm thinking about, I'm definitely going to continue making negligence. It's, although, I, because I work so far ahead, I'm going to take a break from that a little bit and see if I can get started with work on another project, with another uh, comic project. But I'm definitely going to keep doing negligence. It's too much fun writing for these characters. You know? <laughs> it's just too much, it's too much fun writing for these little kids. One of the things I like about them too is they're like kids, but you know you sort of have a, a an adult undertone under it. You know, um, it's kind of the South Park thing. You know, it's like yeah. the thing that people forget about South Park. I'm not sure if it's as true in the later seasons, but it's definitely true in the earlier seasons. Is that despite all the raunchiness and how adult these kids act, there is kind of like an underlying sweetness, childlike innocence to the characters, and it's. It's definitely noticeable in, like, the first episode, like, at the very end, especially where Wendy and Stan are talking about the little chunks of whatever and Stan's puke after he uh, throws up when Wendy talks to him. Like, <laughs> that is under I I stand black. Look, a fat guy. Yeah, they, their underlining themes are pretty much... Uh, Generally, it just comes down to common sense. You know, they always have they have that buried message in the show. And if you notice, the people they really tear apart on there are the people who have just lost all common sense in touch with normal reality. Yeah, the kids are kind of the voice of reason. Yeah. Everything, they always end up throwing back everything into shape, you know, and the adults are all retarded and... Everything just goes to hell. But <laughs> yeah, they, they 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 sort of poke fun at pop culture, pop culture themes. I think pretty much. Oh yeah, yeah. But uh, that and they, you know, I love it. Like they had an episode on recently. It was uh, it was about these bikers, and the kids were calling the bikers fags, and everybody in the town got upset with them because they're saying, "Oh, you can't." use that term to describe gay people and they're like who's talking about gay people you know and it's like they were just basically making fun of you know it's like why is a word that's that simple so offensive to people you know and it, you know it's not really the word itself it's the context in which you use the word you know and i like when they do things like that because it makes you stop and think it's like yeah you know it's like so what if I call my buddy that? You know, what if I say, "Ah, oh, you're a fag, Paul." You know, I, I think some of it too is the history behind the word. You know, well, I mean, like into that if, if a word is, a, is is abused in in a certain way, you know, as derogatory. I mean, if you use the color blue as a derogatory word, the word blue after a while would be, you know, something dirty. So, well, then think um, about why people take offense to it too. Say someone was to sit there and. They took the name, for example, uh, Tony, since you're sitting there. Um, and, you know, you go up to your friend and you say, oh, you're such a dirty Tony. You know, you go up to someone else instead of saying fag, you know, you're such a, a Tony. It, it's what it's doing is it's not the word itself. It's saying that this group of people is taking a group of people and using them as a negative um uh, stereotype, yeah, yeah, to bring yeah. that person down. Well, let's not forget that in England, of course, fag doesn't even mean gay people. It means cigarettes. Cigarette. Yes. So, yeah. we're not so, so in, I in one I country, put a metal log on the fire, you know. <laughs> so in one country, sucking on fags means one thing, and in another, it means another. Because <laughs> yep. they say put another fag on the fire, you know, that's that's a small log, you know. <laughs> Put another fag on the fire, cook me up some bacon, some beans. I mean, that's yeah, the deep south. That's just, uh, you know? <laughs> the deep south, that's just weekend fun. 
Would be, wait a minute. Would that be considered a hate hate crime? Over here we have the defendant. He put a fag on the fire. <laughs> I guess you know. I guess to the extreme left eco terrorist, yeah, that's a that's definitely a hate crime. He hates trees. <laughs> <laughs> He's burning trees. Oh dear God, no. But yet they have no problem, you know, printing up a million gazillion flyers on paper. <laughs> you know, it's it's no wonder there's so many comics out. Uh, you know, this country is, is is replete with political correctness, which just absolutely makes me sick. I don't think it's the fact that we've broadened our horizons or anything. It's the fact that we don't know the difference between right and wrong anymore and up and down. So we got to put it in a category or a box. <laughs> I, I am I am just sick of people uh, calling. Uh, someone that um, abuses like alcohol or something—a disease. It's not a disease. It's, it's a, uh, it's a choice. You know. You hear that pet face? You're making the but choice. You, but you can <laughs> no. down. But you got to put it. You know, everything's got to be in a neat little category. That's, that's why comics are so cool. You know, it sort of, sort of breaks the, you know, the stereotype a little bit. It, it sort of pokes fun at our own ignorance sometimes you know kids even kids you know have more sense than most of these adults when it comes to a a lot of stuff at least that's my opinion Hydranic and Lizette are the smartest characters in that comic yeah speaking of uh, political correctness gone rampant I got a little story for you this is from a few years ago when I was still publishing comics in the school newspaper friend of mine, he like wanted me to do a comic for him. He wanted to write something. He was kind of pissed off because can I say that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess I can. <laughs> anyway. Um, <clears throat> we prefer the name uh, or peed off, if you don't mind. Yeah. yeah Slightly I, tinkled. Yeah, there you go. Okay, you have, <laughs> okay you have this. I'm going to tinkle now. Harlan <laughs> jokes there. <laughs> well, anyway. Um, he, At urination will we'll do, though, if you want to. Well, anyway, he got all ticked off because um, <laughs> he got all ticked off because this uh, girl he liked. Which, by the way, a side note, I never really knew what the hell he saw in this woman because she looked like ah, uh, she looked like Mark Wahlberg in Planet of the Apes, <laughs> <laughs> oh, or maybe even God. one of, or maybe even one of the apes. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot Mark Wahlberg wasn't even one of the apes. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I've never even seen that crappy movie. <laughs> oh, don't say that in front of Roy. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, what? Oh, oh crap. Uh, anyway, um... <laughs> no, the the Burton version of Apes really wasn't that good. I mean, what's up with the fact that you know the chimpanzee can la- land a little space vehicle on a dime, but Mark Wahlberg gets in it, and every time he gets in one, he crashes the shit out of it. I mean, what's up with that? You know, the dim is like, hey, no problem, right on the dime. There are there are so many things wrong with that movie. You you don't even get me started. You know, I mean, he just destroyed the yeah, the I whole ape concept. Well, good special effects. You know, I love the warrior gorillas, the way they fought and would jump. But beyond but that, it, yeah, I was hope if you bring it back, though, they have part two as a comedy. You know what I mean? <laughs> that then it might work. <laughs> 